Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a the, the very first episode of a multi-episode series that I'm going to bring you. We're going to be doing some YouTube stuff, I guess. Some vlogs uh, on this. I guess you could call it vlogs. I don't know. It's going to be a journey, sort of. Not as exciting as some. Um, you know, I'm not building a Ferrari. I'm not building a uh, an Aston Martin or a Bentley or anything. But we're going to have fun with it. Behind me is a 2002 Volvo V40 1.9 diesel. They use the old Renault 1.9 DCI engines. Um, pretty bulletproof for Renault. It's an estate, it's got roof racks, it was sat in someone's uh, garden for a while. It's just past MOT, it's got a fresh MOT on it, but it needs some little bits doing. So, I'll show you around it. First one I'm going to be doing today, I'll tell you, uh, the oil pressure light keeps flickering below certain revs. Apparently on these it's quite common for the uh, pickup pipe in the sump to get clogged, because the strain's only you know a tiny little hole, so what I'm going to do is, I was going to service it anyway, because it hasn't been serviced in a while, I'm going to drop the sump, we've got box parts, we've got a new oil pressure sensor, so I'm going to put a new oil pressure sensor in, uh, going to drop the sump, uh, clean the pickup pipe out, put a new sump gasket on, reseal the sump, we've got air filter, we've got fuel filter, and then we're going to see if that has solved that issue. If so, then we're going to go on to the rest of it, because if the engine's bricked, I don't really want to do anything else to it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cheap enough to take the gamble on, so I'm going to do that. But first, let me show you around the car, this wondrous, wondrous car. As you can see, it's an absolute weapon, absolute brilliant, beautiful car. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's been sat for a while. I've got a box full of parts there. Um, not nothing major expensive at the minute, but uh, today in this first episode, what I really want to crack is the aforementioned issues. So good service, clean out the oil, uh, pick up pipe, strainer, and see if that solves the issue. I've also got slightly thicker oil to go in as on an older, higher mileage engine. It's only on 120k, but obviously it's not. Exactly, spring chicken. You can you can do with up in that, and that can help boost the oil pressure as well. And it's some good stuff. It's some Fuchs Titan, so it's pretty pretty decent. It's not exactly uh, bank breaking, but it's, it's it's decent. So anyway, enough waffle. Let's get on to it. in a couple of seconds I had to resort to interesting methods to get the oil filter out. Just had to nip out and go get a 22mm deep socket for the uh, oil pressure sensor because you can't really get a spanner on there because of the way it's located. So we've got this, let's get that out and uh, then we'll carry on with this. I'm just getting the oil pressure sensor out and replacing it with a new one. Of course, I'm comparing the parts to each other just to make sure they are identical. Even though they should be, I've verified it. I just want to make sure. It's always good before you start hammering it home and uh, putting the wrong parts in.
That right there is a sub, and that took me maybe like two, three hours. <laughs> I'm, I'm ashamed to say that is the hardest sub I've had to replace. Um, that was really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Um, some of the bolts, you had to drop cross members and stuff. Thought it was gearbox out at one point, but managed to get it out. Um, yeah, probably don't remember where half the bolts go, but let's clean that out. Clean the uh, pickup strainer out as well. I'm just going to spray it with loads of brake cleaner, um, and it'll all fall back out and, and drain down anyway. And then we can reassemble with new gasket, of course. So get on with it. got her over there on level ground all tops up unfortunately the plastic oil dipstick broke because it's attached to the cap and it's stupid design it's really brittle uh, I think a piece of it's still in the engine don't really care at this point it's, uh, <laughs> it's a tiny little bit of plastic I'm sure it'll be fine um, but yeah one of the things so I'm gonna have to order a new oil cap and um, dipstick and what we'll do tomorrow is we'll do the fuel filler because I've got to go somewhere shortly um, I'm not going to go in that because I can't accurately check the oil um, level. I've checked it mostly, but you know I can't check it 100%. So we'll finish off this video tomorrow. So we're back the next day. There's a fly on me. We're back the next day. Uh, I'm going to now take off the engine cover again and do the fuel filter. You've got to manually prime these ones uh, with like a squeezy bulb thing. The only old Renault 1.9 DCI engines. So we'll do that. We'll change the fuel filter. We'll bleed it. Cash should fire straight up. We know airlocks in the system. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's not a uh, self priming and self bleeding like the new revolvers that you might have seen on the channel when I've done like the D5 services and stuff. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'm waiting on a few other little bits for the engine bay before. I, I really want to detail this, but there's something. There's an O-ring I need to change where it's spewing oil out at the minute, so it's kind of just not worth it. Um, so for now, it's gonna stay dead as much as it kills me. But we'll get the fuel filter sorted and then it's fully serviced. All right, let's go. It's on these 1.9D, uh, it's the Renault F9Q engines. You've got to remove the fuse box, or at least, well, you've got to take the fuse box cover off, and then you can remove the fuse box out of its designated place. You can move it off to the side, and then you can undo the top nut on the fuel filter housing, take that off, replace the actual fuel filter itself, put that back in, uh, place the cap loosely on, you've got to use that priming bellows, it's like a like an old style pump, you've got to hand pump it. Once that's then full of fuel, you can place the cap back on, tighten it up, keep pumping that pump until it's it becomes firm is the official guidance and you'll feel it, it'll get really hard to do. Then you know it's full of fuel, you can tighten it fully home, put everything back in place and then the car is ready to fire up. So that was fine, that primed right up and fired right up real easy. So we're going to leave episode one there. Uh, like I say, I'm waiting on a few parts, um, but what we've done is we've done the air filter, the fuel filter, and the oil filter, <laughs> and we've solved the low oil pressure issue, which plagues these 1.9 DCIs. That strainer, and I couldn't film under there too much. It was, it was oily, it was awful. It's, it's bad contrast, it's bad lighting under there. The strainer is absolutely tiny. Uh, so, you, you know, all I had to do was blast out some carb cleaner, some brake cleaner, whatever you use. Um, and then I just put some compressed air up there, made sure it was dry, none of that carb cleaner, brake cleaner, whatever solvent was going to stay inside the engine bay. And, uh, you know, potentially damage the new oil. Changed to the 5W40 rather than like a something 30. Um, and that hopefully raises the oil pressure as well. So, waiting on a dipstick cap, waiting on a anti shudder an EGR like assembly uh, valve o-ring and a new EGR gasket and then what we're going to do in that episode is clean the EGR out. 
we're going to clean uh, the anti shudder valve mechanism uh, o-ring and change that because um, that'll stop the spraying oil all over the top and then we're going to detail the engine bay we're going to tie it up so thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you guys in the next one